I heard about the BFA Film Academy when at school they had a leaflet and they gave it to everyone so I thought I should apply because it's something I really wanted to go into. Our first workshop was with Sam Harry. We did directing and acting masterclass. We learnt like the basics of how to work with actors and how directors control kind of the whole crew. <gasps> Hello! Well, it was a 10 week course and I have learnt how to edit, use a camera and use sound to create effect and loads more. One of our favourite days was we had some experts come in and we had an hour in a certain specialism like a camera or sound or filming. My favourite workshop was the costume designer who came to talk to us about everything she does on set and how important costume is in storytelling. I think my favourite day was the day when we were doing story workshop with Zosha who's a writer. She just taught us some really interesting like techniques to inspire a story. There's like stories everywhere. During our workshop with Rob Walker was a sound masterclass which is really interesting in the show how sound can have such a dramatic effect. My favourite experience throughout this course has been actually working with Roy Stafford who came in to do film analysis of us. We were able to take them apart and have a look at what they did, what features they used, why those choices were made to make that film the best it could be. I found the build up to the shoot really fun. It was a great experience to be around everyone. You got to meet a lot of new people. The build up to the shoot was like really jam packed full of information. We learnt a lot in a lot of days. We worked with Matt, the director. We watched a couple of short films as well to get the feel for how much we had to cram into such a short period of time because we only had two days shooting. My role was co-directing with Emilio and Leah. It's been quite hands-on, quite intimate with the uh, directing, getting to see all the different roles like people do, because it's not like just with one department, you're working with like a load of departments to make sure that they're on track, you're working with the actors, make sure that oh, look you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Once you're on set, your job is solely to focus on the actors and to make sure that they know what they're doing. Any decisions you have to make on set, makeup, costume, script, angles, anything like that has to be done beforehand in pre-production. Um, I was on sound with Danny and Rob. I had to operate the recorder and the boom mic, which was really exciting actually. Cause I thought it was going to be just like sound effects and figuring out different sounds that we'd need in the actual editing part. But we were actually on set like the whole time. We got to see everything that was going on. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it. My job was hair and makeup and costume and also sound. In the hair and makeup, you need to make sure everything looks exactly the same throughout the whole of the filming just touching up all the time, every time the director cuts. You've got to be straight in there to keep continuity. I was part of the cinematography team and Emma Dalesman, the cinematographer on our film, really showed me about um, framing. It's something I hadn't really worked on that much before, but it really gave me a good insight. The most challenging aspect was definitely continuity. There was so much of it. You wanted to change the set because you wanted different views on how it looked, but at the same time, you couldn't make anything too different. And actors would move stuff and tiny, tiny little things like where people were putting their hands. Other people in the cinematography department were trying to shoot from outside the greenhouse, looking inwards, trying to position the camera so you wouldn't get the flare. Right, guys, what's going on? We're just changing the lens on the camera. Uh, Jack, what have you been doing? Changing the lens on the camera. <laughs> I think the most enjoyable thing for me was definitely talking to the actors before they were filming because you really got to know them as people and I found it, it helped a lot when people were giving them directions when they had previously talked to them. Most people would say the film's about a boy who meets an old man in a greenhouse but I think for us, especially when I was directing, it's more than that. It's this experience that they share, this moment that really changes the boy's life. I think it's a good film for people our age to watch because it's so optimistic and it, it takes away a lot of negativity and you've got loads of people our age that are fighting with their parents and that's a key thing about why the story came about. And it, it just gives you a bit of hope. Because there's so much to learn from this cast as well. It made me think um, the film industry is like actually possible. There's a whole spectrum of different jobs which is cool. Uh, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do in the future, completely sure anyway. 
and I knew I wanted to do something in film, but I didn't know what. And now I'm pretty sure I want to go into directing. The course has pushed me forward a bit more. I mean, it's similar to what I'm doing at college and stuff like that, but it's just an extra step. I would definitely recommend it to people any age, really. It's brilliant.